Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and if you're new to the channel, welcome! I'm all about woodworking and doing DIY projects. I typically do videos of my new builds here in my garage shop, and then I'll post the detailed tutorial on my blog. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel, because I'll be posting new DIY videos every single week. And if you want to see all of my projects, head over to my blog at DIYMontreal.com. With the holidays in just a few weeks, my Christmas wish list is ready and I thought I would share with you some of the ideas I have in case some of you are wondering, what should I buy a woodworker for Christmas? Or perhaps some of you woodworkers are wondering, what should I ask for for Christmas? Although I doubt it. I don't know about you, but it seems that there's always a new tool that I want. No, need. Anyhow, buying a gift for a woodworker can be a really tricky thing. We all have our preferred brands and can be a bit particular about the things that we want. That being said, I'm going to take a stab at it and hopefully you'll be inspired by some of these ideas. One of my favorite new tools that I just got a few months ago is this compact 12 volt mini palm driver. I just love it. It's perfect for tight spaces where a regular coilless drill just won't fit. I also like the fact that it has push to drive technology, which essentially means that there's no button, which means you can hold it however you want or wherever your hand fits. The bits are also easy to change with its quick load collet and it comes with a battery and charger. Another one of my favorite new tools that I got this year is the Ryobi Air Nailer. Oh my god, what a game changer. I used to hate dragging out my big compressor, the bulky hose, and especially how loud the compressor gets. Most of the time, all I wanted was a few brad nails to hold my working piece in place while the glue dried, but I would just skip it. Too much work. Now I just grab the nail gun and it's ready to use. And the great part is that it works with the same Ryobi batteries as my other Ryobi tools. Next on the list is clamps. Yeah, clamps. If you're thinking that your husband, girlfriend, brother, daughter, or whoever already has too many clamps, you're wrong. Ask any woodworker. We always need more clamps. Now it's hard to say what kind of clamps they'll need, but if you really want to make them happy, I recommend going big. As far as clamps go, usually the longer and the better the quality, the more they're expensive. Some of my favorite clamps are the Bessie K Body Series. These are solid and powerful. Unlike quick clamps, you can lay them flat on their backs and be sure whatever you're gluing up will be flat and true. They slide smoothly and their jaws are big and flat so they won't damage your project when clamping. If you're looking for something a little less pricey, make that a lot less pricey, then consider a silicone glue brush. These are great for spreading glue evenly across the entire work surface for any glue up. Sure, you could use a regular paintbrush, but what I like about the silicone brush is that you can use it over and over again. You just have to wash it out with some warm soapy water and even if you forget it, the dried glue will flake off the silicone bristles. Now sure, there's nothing exciting about safety, so getting safety gear as a Christmas present may sound boring. That being said, someone once told me that a good present is something you would likely not buy for yourself. For whatever the reason, maybe it's not your usual style or simply because you wouldn't want to spend the money on it. So in that sense, safety gear is the perfect woodworker's gift. Number one on the safety gear list, if your woodworker doesn't wear any kind of breathing protection, I would start with this. Fine sawdust is nasty business and you don't want to be breathing it in. My favorite lung protection is the 3M6500 series reusable respirator. It's super comfortable and lightweight so you can wear it for long periods of time. And with the 2091 filters you can get 99.97% clean air in your lungs. That's pretty close to perfect. It slips on fast and forms a perfect seal on the face so no particles can get in. I've been using mine for about six months now and I can tell you I'm never going back to paper masks. So it's well worth the investment. Another safety concern around the shop has always been the table saw. There are a number of ways to keep your fingers safe like using riving knives and push sticks. There are also many aftermarket products that can make using the table saw even safer. One example is the gripper. Now I don't have a gripper yet but let me tell you even this one's on my Christmas list. The gripper not only puts a barrier between your hands and the blade, but it allows you to control your piece of wood by keeping it flat against the fence and down on the table. This tool is especially useful when making really thin cuts, which are otherwise likely to pinch and kick back. So those are just a few of my ideas, but I'd love to hear what's on your list, so please leave a comment down below on what you'd like to get for Christmas. I'll also be leaving links in the description below to all the products that I talked about in this video, and I'll also add in a few stocking stuffer ideas for the woodworker. So be sure to check that out. Until next time, thanks for watching!